The book regularly points at the common appetite um, between China and other countries for data collection and the development of capitalist surveillance. Everywhere, corporations hold vast amounts of data, which are difficult for the state to regulate, to access, and to use when they want to. So of course, across different countries, a key question is what are the checks and balances in place against abuse of that kind of data? I think overall, my strongest objections would be about some of the culturalist explanations along the book. For example, um, the idea that Chinese people are not interested in privacy. This is supported in the book by a citation of Robin Lee, who is the CEO of Baidu, who said that Chinese people are, I quote, ready to exchange privacy for security, convenience, or efficiency. So I would like to highlight that a few years ago, Mark Zuckerberg also said that kind of things. And it was not about Chinese people. And it was also maybe not quite true. So we now have quite a few examples of people pushing back against that kind of data collection in China, even though for them it's even harder to mobilize uh, against that kind of things. There are also a few references in the book to China's history, which is a really complicated matter, especially given the level of instrumentalization of history that we have in China. To conclude, um, I think generally speaking, we all have a tendency to paint digitalization as a form of progress. But from the outset in the book, um, the author asks the interview an interviewee, so what uh, we're gaining a lot of time, so what, do, what should we use this extra time for? And that's a really good question. And the answer from the interviewee was maybe to spend our time on the mobile phone. So there's a lot of irony there. So it's actually a very interesting philosophical question that is all, all along the book. Is this actually progress? And it's an important question for us Europeans in particular, as China provides a model and exports some of its solutions. It also encourages us to race for supremacy in key technologies like 5G, for instance, which I believe is kind of a worrying development. The author suggests that we need to develop a, a global strategy and consider data as a common good so that we don't stay in the periphery of the conquest field between China and the US, but we develop a space where a new model of transparency and public use of data should be considered. 